This card chosen for you is from the Fairy Forest, an oracle of the wild green world by Lucy Cavendish. Card number 29. Before the gathering, celebration, anticipation, event. For you, dear one, a celebration is coming, a time to acknowledge the markings and passings of the great turns of the wheel and for you to gather together with friends, relatives, and significant beings and ask them to unite in a common cause of joy for what has been achieved. It is time to look forward, to anticipate, and to prepare for this event may even be taking place simply on an energetic level, as all the beings who have long wished for your well-being now gather together to applaud the place where you are right now. This will be coming for you, and it is in the future. So this card is a great omen of good to come for you. It is time for you to put on your finest garments, take the very best goblets and chalices from their dusty hiding places, and raise a glass of bubbling fairy energy to the wonders of life. It may be your birthday or another occasion, such as a graduation, the acknowledgement of an accomplishment, or the complete completion of a test. Whatever it may be, it is essential to mark the impending time with joy, applause, and an expression of bounty. Prepare to be ready and enjoy, dear one. You deserve all that this exciting and exhilarating occasion heralds, for after the effort comes the reward. Soon, it will be yours. Artwork, Chrysella at the Ball. This card pulled for you is from the Fairy's Oracle by Brian Froud. Card number seven, the singer of intuition, perceptiveness, oracular powers, awareness, trust. The song of the singer of intuition carries all of the information there is some people believe that this information, often called the Akashic Records, is like a great filing cabinet or library in the sky that we have to go to in order to get information intuitively or psychically. We needn't go anywhere. The song is sung within our blood and flesh and bones, just as it is within the rest of the universe. If, at humanity's present stage of evolution, we consciously heard the song in all of its fullness. We would be overwhelmed, our minds burned out by that energy. A kindly universe has led us to a place in our development where we can consciously hear only bits of the melody. Usually, we must develop skill in actively listening for it, but occasionally a few notes resonate so closely with our own being that we become aware of them. These involuntary experiences are what we call hunches or intuition or extended sense perceptions. We can improve our reception of the song by learning to be very still and to listen in a special way. What we get for practicing stillness through meditation and listening, just ask and then listen, is the ability to understand and interpret meta symbols and symbolism beyond the material symbols of oracles and omens themselves. Stars, omens, portents, movements of stars and mice. These are all part of one piece, the one song, and therefore a part of us as we are of them. Understanding them truly is just a matter of learning to be still, to ask and to listen. Someday as we evolve and grow, we will be able to hear more and more of this song and to base our actions and choices on greater knowledge. Patience and practice are the keys to all of the subtle, clear senses. Clear audience, clear hearing, clairvoyance, clear seeing, clear sentience, clear knowing, telepathy, hearing each other without words, precognition, knowing before glimpses of a probable future. The message here for you 
is that when this shows up in a reading, the presence of the singer of intuition indicates that information is available to us if we will just listen to our own inner knowing. Perhaps we have already heard it and still doubt our subtle senses. The singer says, this is the time to really listen to our intuition. What are our feelings, our hunches or intuitions about this situation? It is desirable that we should seek solitude, meditate and practice stillness and patience. This is a time for inward focus, a time to open the inner door to intuition. There are a lot of ins in this sentence because important answers are to be found within ourselves. As a warning, when the song of the singer seems especially obscure, as indicated by a card reversed or a feeling, we need to ask ourselves, how can I learn to be more quiet within myself, more peaceful? How can I better listen to the song of knowledge and wisdom? Not all meanings are meant to be clear at once. Some ideas take time. Some words are designed to lead us on inner journeys with truth hidden deep inside them. <laughs>